Welcome to this episode of the Down the Pub podcast. On this show, I am joined by Halifax Wanderers' new assistant coach, Alejandro Dorado. Welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you very much. Thank you for for your invite for inviting me to to this show, and I'm here to to speak with you and to to uh, show you uh, my my answers about uh, Halifax uh, Wanderers and. And new scorecard. Nice, nice. Uh, I'm excited to talk to you. So, my first question: When you were announced as the new assistant coach, big thing was that you're a UEFA Pro license holder. Not everybody in Canada knows what that means. I think you're the only the second coach in CPL history that's had a pro license. So, can you explain what a pro license is and how did you attain it? Oh, I don't know here in in Canada where is the the, the UEFA Pro or the the, uh, the similar uh, license, but in Spain the, you have three three levels or or, or titles uh, UEFA B, UEFA A, and UEFA Pro. Uh, you need to uh, study uh, three years, uh, and in these three years you have okay you have every every single. Uh, every single detail about football, about uh, soccer, and uh, about the, the the movement to prepare this this game to to play. Uh, I study I study my degree in sports science, and uh, after this, I went to to the uh, Spanish Federation to study the the three li- license. Uh, the first one and the second one uh, was in uh, Guadalajara, is uh, uh, a small city near of, of Madrid. And the third one uh, have the good luck to 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 study in the in Real Madrid uh, facilities because we are a big group to with uh, only the web uh, A and we prepare or the the, the national. Uh, Federation Madrid and and the Spanish uh, Federation prepare a big group for for us to to study this uh, this license. Uh, we have the good luck to study with uh, good good teachers there. Uh, good is uh, in this sport and yeah, uh, it's only a, a title. It's only a <laughs> a, a paper. Uh, uh, you mean uh, is not uh, uh, nothing special? Uh, it's only you need to put uh, uh, you need to uh, to use your time to 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 spend your time in this uh, in this uh, career or something like that, and, and it's it's good. You're, you're the only person I've ever heard say it's just a piece of paper. It's just nothing. <laughs> Most people like they 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 want to have that, so it's kind of nice to hear you're uh, you're not like crazy in your head like that. I'm a UEFA Pro license holder. Neil before me, <laughs> you know. So uh, it's it's kind it's kind of nice to hear you're kind of not not like a, a crazy person. <laughs> so you've been in Halifax because because, because in, in in soccer there are a lot of people with a lot of ego and it's normal. Okay, it's normal, uh, but I think it's only a paper and it's only a paper that. Yeah, you can use this paper to uh, uh, work in the professional football. You can use this paper to uh, train uh, uh, Real Madrid in uh, Champions League or uh, Barcelona or Betis or uh, one team in third division in Spain in, uh, in the first league. And it's only a paper because there are a lot of people with a lot of knowledge about football. Uh, and this is true. Uh, there are a good, good coaches uh, that they are training in uh, under 
14 or under 12 or under 15 or under 16 with a lot of knowledge, but they don't have this paper. They are better or worse than me. No, they are, they are not worse than me. Maybe they are better than me. But, and this is the reason that I said that this is only a paper. I love it. So you've been in Halifax for about a month now. Um, I know you kind of came a little bit earlier than the player. So how are you liking the city so far? And can you tell us a little bit about how your move to the Wanderers came about? Yeah, I like a lot the, the city because uh, yeah, I born in the north of Spain. The north of Spain is uh, there. Uh, the, the city are very, very small. Uh, and uh, I like to practice uh, outdoor sports. Uh, I like to go to the uh, lake and see the, 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 the free spaces and stay there only uh, for, for, for a time and, and, and that's it. And uh, I like the, the city because uh, he is a mix between these big cities and these small cities. Uh, I have a lot of things to, to do up around, the, around Halifax. And uh, you have a good downtown, a small downtown, uh, where you can go to the good shopping, you can go to the good restaurants, good uh, supermarkets to, to buy uh, everything that you need. And I like it. I like Halifax and, and I like this, this style of life. Nice. Um, so, yeah, so how did the, uh, the move to Halifax happen? Uh, like, uh, I know that you were coaching in, in China and then Alex became your agent. Um, so how did the approach happen with, with Halifax? The approach started in, uh, in June 2021. Uh, uh, in that moment, uh, uh, I, we contacted with, with uh, Alex de Carolis and he started to, to speak with me. Okay, uh, I have the opportunity to, to move uh, your career to, to Canada, U.S., if you want, um, I said, yes, I want. I want to, to work in North America and go do it. Uh, we start to, to, prepare, to, to prepare this this opportunity, this future opportunity, watching videos uh, by uh, analyzing the, the players, analyzing the games, analyzing the teams. Maybe in September, uh, October, uh, November, uh, Alice uh, started to send me, okay, there are opportunities in Halifax, maybe, there are opportunities in other teams, uh, York, there are opportunities in, in other teams, and, and I will, uh, I, 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 um, I go focusing uh, and preparing the, the, the small details for, for these things that he said to me, okay, maybe this, maybe this, maybe this. The first uh, connection with Halifax was with, uh, with Matt. Uh, he, he wanted to, to meet me and we have a good conversation. It was uh, two hours and a half, uh, Alex, uh, Matt and me. Uh, we talked about football, we talked about uh, the team. Uh, I was watching uh, the, the team, I was watching the, the league and uh, I know the, I knew uh, a few things to, to say and in, in that conversation and, and it was a very, very good conversation, a very good meeting. Uh, and after this, uh, the next, uh, uh, I was one week or one week and a half, uh, was a second meeting with, uh, with Steven. Steven, Matt, and Alex and me, and it was a nice meeting as well. Uh, they sent me to prepare something about the team, and I prepared uh, a few details about the team. And and it was uh, the yeah the I think the 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 match the match when when you uh, a new when you met a, a new person in uh, two weeks uh, uh, past and. In two weeks, they call me again and they said to me, okay, there are this opportunity if you want. And I accept the opportunity and I catch the opportunity and I'm here. Alex had told me, and you've just said it yourself there, that you kind of wanted to coach in North America. What, what is it about North America that made you want to, to coach here? I like uh, North America. In, two, in 2012, I worked in uh, a small team in Madrid. 
uh, the name is Villa Vicioso Don, uh, La Rosa, so, sorry. And in that moment, I, I thought, okay, I want to move to, to North America. I want to start the, 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 the life there. And why? Because I feel that here you can live this American dream. With your knowledge, with your capacity, you can grow in your career. And this is the, the thing that I had in my head. And I said, okay, uh, this is, uh, I want, I want, I want, I want. In that moment, I contact with uh, Red Bull New Yorks, with uh, Bob. Uh, in that moment, uh, was a uh, director academy of Red Bull New York. But uh, we are talking, uh, we was talking in, we were talking in that moment uh, with New York Red Bull. And uh, 12, uh, 15th of June in 2012, Real Madrid called me. And I said, okay. Maybe the, the dream of North America needs to wait a little bit. Uh, I, I can see why that would be uh, wait a little bit. <laughs> you watched some of the uh, the tapes of the league before you came and before you talked to uh, Stephen. So what did you think? Like the league is only four years old, three, four years old. What did you think of the standard of play? And do you think it's uh, it's a nice style of football we play in Canada? Okay, when you when you watch the not only the 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 CPL, when you watch the Canadian football, the Canadian soccer, uh, and you watch in Europe, uh, Eustachio, Alf Davis, uh, uh, Jonathan David, uh, you got you you can see that the, the future of this country uh, will be grow uh, a lot in the next uh, months, in the next years. Uh, when you learn something about uh, the CPL and see, okay, they are starting uh, three years ago. Uh, this is the fourth year in the in, in the league. Uh, the league want to grow. The next year, more teams uh, uh, will will play. Uh, you can see that okay, uh, this is a future. This is a uh, big country, uh, this is a big country with a lot of people that want to grow, want to go to the uh, World Cup, want to uh, prepare a World Cup in a, in a few years here in the, in the country. And uh, this is the space that in the future will be a good space to work. Uh, it's true that uh, sometimes you can say, okay, but uh, maybe it's not the time to go there. But, uh, uh, I don't. I don't care about uh, the times. I care about the. Uh, yeah, I care about my myself. I care about my my happiness and uh, my family. And and I only think, okay, it's a good uh, good country, good football that is growing, and growing and growing. And I think I this is the moment to to go there. And yeah, when you watch the the, the league, when you watch the. The players in in York, in Halifax, in Calgary, in all the teams, you can see that it's not only the players that uh, the Canadian players that is that uh, play in Europe. There are a lot of good Canadian players here. There are a lot of good foreign players that play uh, with these Canadian players. When uh, they they are in the future, in the in the next uh, uh, years, uh, will be better uh, teams, better uh, players, better coaches, and. Uh, I always said one thing: uh, we are the average of the people that uh, that is, that uh, is around around us. Uh, if the people uh, is growing, you will grow. Uh, and this is the the moment. I like that. Uh, we should get a T-shirt made with that. We are the average of the people around us. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice little catchphrase. <laughs> so <clears throat> on the, I had Matt Egan on the show last week and he said that one of the problems that Halifax has had is scoring goals um, so how do you think you can help the team to achieve this where we like to help us to score more goals because it's been since the beginning of the CPL we've always struggled in front of goal yeah it's true uh, in in soccer in football uh, if you score goals uh, you win the, the games and you win the the competition. If you, if we and uh, if Halifax Wanderers in the CPL 2022 score 45, 15 goals, uh, we will be uh, the number one in the table and we will win the, the CPL. And uh, this is the goal for, for all 
the teams that play in this in this competition. <clears throat> uh, also, it's true that uh, the the goals is not only uh, the, the strikers are the players that score the goals, but uh, it's not only uh, about the the striker the, the the responsibility to score the goals. Um, there are a few things that uh, I can remain and I can say to you. Uh, the first thing is uh, Marcelo Bielsa in Argentina. When uh, Marcelo Bielsa trained uh, Argentina, one journalist said, why uh, Crespo and Bautista, uh, Batistuta cannot play together? And Marcelo Bielsa said, uh, because in football, one plus one is not always two. Maybe it's zero, maybe it's one, and maybe it's four. Uh, the second thing is uh, about uh, about Creed, Guardiola, on these uh, coaches that uh, work in in this Ajax uh, Barcelona uh, idea. Uh, they always think, okay, the first player that I need to sign, the first player that I need to uh, sign to build the, the, the team is goalkeeper, center back, goalkeeper, center back. And, uh, and create the team and build the team in this way. Uh, and the third thing is about uh, uh, Andres Iniesta. Uh, I have the good luck to, to, to talk and to work with uh, players and coaches that, uh, coaches that in that moment was a player that uh, played with Andres Iniesta. And they said to me that uh, Andres Iniesta passed the ball like a father with his son uh, when you when you play with when you play with a, with a son when you play with your son with a, a child a, a small child you pass the ball with the uh, perfect uh, pace uh, if the guy is uh, three years old the pace is one if the guy is seven years old the pace is more and more and more and uh, if we put everything together, if we uh, put everything together, uh, we can uh, we can see uh, the first thing that okay, we need to build a good uh, a good style of play or a good idea to deliver the good balls with time and space for the strikers. And everything, every player in the in the team. Uh, need to uh, need to put a, a few uh, part of his knowledge, a few part of his uh, um, uh, behaviors in this in this process. Uh, the goal, uh, finally, the goal uh, will score. Uh, Akin will score the goals. Morelli will score the goals or more goals. No, 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 the goals, but more goals. Uh, uh, Salter will score the goals. Uh, Marshall, Bent, the strikers will score the goals, but uh, uh, our goalkeeper need to pass a good pass to to the center back. Our center back need to decide a good pass to the midfielders, and our midfielder need to deliver a good pass to the strikers, and they need to uh, finish the the situation. Or sometimes our our center backs or midfielder need to score the goal. Our fullback need to score the goal. But uh, it's a, a big mix and. And in this mix is the the thing that we uh, we are working and we are progressing. You, you said that you talked to Stephen before he came to Halifax. Uh, um, obviously, you've never worked together before. So, how is your relationship uh, developing? And what do you think is his style of uh, football, like his philosophy? When you meet people like uh, Stephen and Matt, you cannot say no. Why? Because I work with a lot of people that. Maybe uh, our ideas are uh, opposite, but with Stephen and with Matt, our ideas is the same. If in if in the same in the same path in the same uh, way, uh, and this is the the reason that I am here. Uh, I am here because when I met uh, Stephen and when I met Matt, it was a match, and uh, in this time. I am learning a lot with with Stephen. I am learning a lot a lot about uh, about him. Uh, he has a lot of experience with a lot of good uh, teams, 
I love to to hear uh, to hear him in a in a dressing room. Uh, I love to 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 hear him to talk about uh, football, about his experience in Canada, his experience in in uh, Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, and it's amazing time uh, this uh, one month and a half. And I hope and I I know that uh, will be an amazing time this year in in Halifax. Yeah, well, I, I definitely can't wait. It's uh, 49 days, I think, until the first game. So h- have you seen videos of the, the crowd and the experience on match day? Oh, uh, I, I I know that here in Halifax there are a lot of uh, good supporters, uh, good, uh, good atmosphere, good soccer, good football atmosphere. And, and I like it. I like it. Uh, the... I like the, the the English atmosphere. Uh, I always said uh, the same. I will I will I will work in in UK uh, one time, and and I like this this atmosphere, this English atmosphere here in Halifax. I watch a lot of games about uh, the team, about the other teams, and uh, but it's not the same to watch in the uh, by uh, or in the television that uh, watching the and uh, stay there in the in the grass. I want to 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 uh, to start uh, this uh, this competition. Uh, yeah, we we will start in York, but uh, in Toronto. But uh, uh, I uh, have uh, uh, I am excited to 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 start this this game here against Edmonton in, in Halifax. You're going to love it, trust me. Being a Real Madrid man, um, are you excited to play against Atletico Ottawa? Sorry, Atletico de Madrid, Atletico de Madrid is not a rival for us. <laughs> what question is this? <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, move on. <laughs> okay. okay, jokes apart. Uh, uh, and when you work in Real Madrid, uh, to work, to play against Atletico de Madrid and to play against uh, Barcelona is the the game that you are uh, waiting in the all season. Uh, normal is the normally the, the these games was uh, uh, and are the, the the best games in the in the academy. And uh, but you have a, a lot of pressure because you need to win uh, these win these these games. And it's uh, it's a uh, it's the best experience. Maybe uh, I have the good luck to to play against Barcelona in a lot of uh, finals in a good tournament in in Spain or in Europe. Uh, I have a good luck to play against Atletico Madrid every year in 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 Madrid, and <clears throat> it, always uh, you can learn about your your big your big rival. Uh, when you play against uh, against them, but it's true that here is not Atletico Madrid. I am not Halifax. Is not Real Madrid. Uh, we are uh, different teams, and uh, I am excited to to play uh, the first game against uh, York, and and that's it. So uh, you mentioned that you uh, you were at Real Madrid, that you coached uh, underage and, and things like that. So. What was that experience like being able to, like being at the world's biggest club, um, helping them to develop the next generation of talent? And how did it help develop you as a, as a coach? Work there is an amazing experience. It's the experience that uh, every single coach in the world wants to, to live. Uh, I have uh, the good luck to live uh, six years there uh, and was uh, amazing years. I have, uh, uh, I've, I can uh, to I can train to uh, very good to very good players. Uh, some of them is playing now in in first division, in second division, with seventeen years old, with eighteen years old, and I uh, have the good luck to to learn about the good coaches in a good in a good facilities, or in one of the best facilities in the world, and and this uh, this learning is uh, is. Uh, you need to you need to pay a lot of money more than they give me uh, <laughs> to to, uh, to to pay this experience. Uh, not only not only uh, the, the the 
the, the, the time in remedy facilities or the time with our teams or the time with, with our, with, uh, our uh, coaches uh, is the time when you go to, I don't know, you go to uh, Mallorca or you go to the other part of uh, Spain and, or Portugal or France and you uh, uh, play against uh, other big teams and you learn uh, about uh, the other style of play and the other uh, ideas of football. In Real Madrid was a complete experience because in the summer I can I have uh, the opportunity to I had the opportunity to to work in a different countries uh, uh, in uh, summer camps and I learn not only about football in other countries I learn about uh, people and about uh, yeah about uh, people that uh, don't think uh, or don't think uh, the same. Uh, this thing that you and this is uh, amazing so when you're at Real Madrid Real Madrid has a philosophy for the team the way that they play and things like that so when you're a coach is that like put on you to to do the same or are you allowed to be your own your own man and have your own ideas we have um, a director of academy that they he asked to to one or two more more or less uh, a few uh, ideas. Uh, Real Madrid is always a, a big club, and uh, you need to have the ball every time, or you need to play with ball every time. Uh, and the, the reason that you have the best players, you play every time with ball, and you need to teach the players to to do it. Uh, it's true that they they never uh, got you. Uh, or said you, said to you, okay, you cannot do this, you cannot do this, you cannot do this. They opened uh, the the opportunity that at uh, the coaches to uh, give the players uh, his experience, uh, give the players uh, his knowledge. And uh, this may be the reason that uh, Real Madrid is always uh, one of the teams that uh, <clears throat> have more plays in a high level because uh, it's not a um, is not uh, the, the the product that uh, arrive in first team or arrive in first division uh, is always different. There are a good striker, there are a good midfielder, there are a good centre back or good fullbacks with a different style of play, with a different ideas and uh, and so on. Opposite to Barcelona, that create a big style, that create a big idea, and this is the player. This player need to play in this style and and so on. Today, Xavi said uh, something about Araujo that he is not a player that he's not a, a home player. He is a player that came uh, from Uruguay and he is not good enough with ball. Uh, yeah, in Real Madrid, maybe if we sign uh, Araujo now in the first team, Angelotti said Araujo is the best center back in our team. Uh, and Okay, it's uh, the opposite idea. We we sign the best players, and we want to develop these players to the to the professional football. And this is uh, the job there. You you were coaching in China, as I mentioned earlier on, and you were working with one of the best managers of of Premier League history, uh, Rafa Benitez. So, how did the the opportunity come to uh, manage in China? Um, what was it like working with Rafa? Okay, uh, it's another um, amazing time in my life. I'm, <laughs> is I am great, great, great. To, I have created you about uh, my life because I always have a good experience in, in this sport. Uh, uh, they finished the uh, they finished the contract with Newcastle United in June and. Uh, I remember seventh, seventh uh, July, seventh of July in in twenty nineteen. Uh, he called me and said me, okay, there are one opportunity to work with us in China. Do you want to come with us? And I said, okay, go. <laughs> uh, in the first moment, every everybody can, everybody have this uh, is care about. Okay, China, what is this? Uh, it's a big country. It's a huge country. Uh, that uh, I never have been there and uh, I am scared about uh, this. But uh, China as a country is amazing, amazing country. Uh, the people there is amazing. 
uh, if you go with the uh, open mind and you uh, are clear uh, uh, I love to work there and I like to work there and uh, it was amazing experience about Rafa yeah is one of the best managers in the in the history and I learned a lot about uh, about him and with him uh, I had the opportunity to live with him, not only the, 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 the games and the trainings, I have the opportunity to, to live with him uh, the, the old days in these uh, two years. He always uh, uh, kicked my head and I said, me, hey, this is wrong, hey, this is mine. Uh, um, and yeah, uh, I am very grateful to, grateful to, to this, this time with with, with him not many people can say that Rafa Benitez was their housemate <laughs> yeah. so so how was it like obviously um as you mentioned like a lot of people I like, think of China and uh, like it, it, a bit scary but for, for you guys how, how did you communicate because I obviously China is probably not you, you probably didn't know much Chinese going there so how did you how, how could you communicate in a country where um you don't know the language yeah, the, the communication in in the in, a, in the street uh, was with a telephone. Uh, in a telephone, in a, a Google Translator, there are uh, a lot of options with a uh, voice, with a picture, with a lot of uh, op- options to to translate uh, the things. And they want to help you. Uh, they are there, and they want to help you in the restaurants. They they. Uh, yeah, we, my, my wife and me, went to 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 the um, to the to the small restaurants and sometimes to try to test uh, different foods and sometimes the people, uh, what are two <laughs> foreigners here in this restaurant that all people is Chinese and and they come there uh, if someone. Uh, uh, no to speak uh, English camp to help you. Okay, this is this, this is this, this is this, this is this. It was amazing. It was amazing the 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 the, the time in in Dalian, uh, the time in Beijing or Shanghai, and the last uh, one mo- the last month we went to to the country countryman to the inside of the country and visit a, a small village and was uh, amazing time uh, in the team. We had uh, we had uh, uh, a few players that they uh, work, they train in Atletico Madrid because one the pro- one the projects uh, have a partnership in Atletico Madrid, in Villarreal, in Real Sociedad, and in Celta de Vigo, and we have a lot of players with uh, uh, yeah with a good knowledge about uh, the Spanish language. Uh, we had. Uh, a, a few translators, a few guys that uh, they translate the, the, the communication, uh, two in Spanish and one in English. Uh, and the foreigner players, uh, uh, Mari Hansik, uh, Salomon Rondon, Gianni Carrasco, uh, Danielson, Larson, and Boateng, uh, they uh, speak uh, English or speak Spanish. Uh, because uh, more uh, a few of them they they work in they play in Atletico Madrid they play in, in Levante or or in Malaga or they are uh, a Spanish uh, uh, they are Venezuela or yeah Venezuela Rondon is only the, the Spanish uh, language so, and uh, what's what's easy what's easy so so. You just mentioned some incredible players <laughs> like Carrasco, uh, Rondon, and stuff like that. So, h- how difficult is it to go from coaching kids to then coaching superstars? <laughs> I had, I have, uh, I had a, a short time in uh, Finland that was amazing time as well uh, in FC Honka in first division. Uh, and uh, this was a transition between the, the, the train uh, 
uh, kids <laughs> and to train a uh, superstar is football. It's the same that I said in the first question. Uh, the UEFA Pro license is uh, I am better or not better than uh, the other coach. You need in, in this sport, you need uh, a few things. The one thing is knowledge. And the second thing is to capacity to to show this knowledge to the to the players, and maybe the third thing is the the emotion intelligent to know when I need to stop, when I need to push more, when I need to uh, don't don't sit, say anything, or when I need to say more. Uh, if you have this, don't care to train kids to train first division. Uh, you need to you need to have you need to have your time to 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 adapt uh, your style of coaching uh, for these uh, amazing players. But uh, I uh, I have I had this opportunity uh, helping uh, big uh, coaches like Rafa, Paco, Antonio, uh, Mikel Antia, and Joaquin that they are uh, a good. I good good coaches, and I only help them to okay. Uh, you need to work with these three players. I work with these three players. I need to work with the defensive line. Okay, I work with the defensive line. They guard me. They help me a lot. They uh, they uh, support me in this time. And and was was easy to to work with uh, the the players. The 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 this super start. Maybe sometimes is are better than the, the 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 kids or are better than the the normal players. Um, my first uh, in, my first uh, uh, time in 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 Dalian was with like, okay. I enter in the in the chain. I enter in the in the in the rooms and I come across with uh, with uh, Carrasco. Carrasco stop and said me. Hello, hello, Alex. Uh, uh, you are your first your first day here. Okay, uh, if you need something, I am here. Okay. Uh, wow. And this is when the the superstar said you this. Uh, you are your all your pressure is uh, out. <laughs> I love it. So so you've had um, you've had a couple of weeks now with the team uh, here in Halifax. Uh, how how is the spirit? Uh, amongst the team and are you uh, how do you think we will do this year million dollar question (laughs) okay Uh, I I said to 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 other the Carolis I want to win the the CPL and after this I want to win the MLS and the Premier League and the more and more and more titles but I want to win the, the CPL and I don't know if this year we will win the CPL or not, but I have a good feeling about uh, this group of players, and I've, and I have a good feeling about these Halifax Wonders. Uh, and it, it's not a lie; uh, it's a, a feeling that I have in my in my body. It's a feeling that uh, I have in the training session. I know that now is the time to push them to to learn or to to train more and more and more. And to understand uh, new or old ideas, but everybody understands the same. And I have I had two weeks with uh, with pain here in my my throat because I need to talk a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> and, and they are they are killing me. But uh, <laughs> but uh, I have a, a good feeling, and I think uh, I cannot say. It. Uh, that uh, we will win the, the CPL, but uh, I can say that the, the supporters will be uh, very, 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 uh, very exciting and very, uh, yeah, very exciting about the, the team and, and about the club. So, um, my, my last question, uh, Alex will kill me if I don't ask. So, how did how did you become? Uh, a client of Alex's and he's a new agent so how is he doing as an agent okay uh, was uh, we contact because uh, my wife uh, tried uh, search uh, agents in North America to to 
to bring me here. Um, he they contacted the, they contacted one day, and the next day Alistair Carrish called me, and uh, I said uh, I said to him that moment. In that moment, I talked with a big agency in the world. Uh, I was talking with a big agency in the world, but I like it the 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 meeting with with Alice uh, was a good meeting and uh, he and me was clear uh, I want this this and this he said me I want this this and this okay fine work together and after today I um I, I'm I'm so happy for him because he's a really good guy and I think that uh, he's going to be an amazing an amazing agent and for him to be able to pull this off was he's a he's a sweet he's a sweet uh, uh sweet uh, sweet talker uh, he <laughs> he talked me a lot about Halifax <laughs> I don't know but I I think uh, that he is uh, truly in love with the with the city and with the club and and maybe I'll maybe he has a. Uh, 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 a big percent to to I am here in this uh, in this uh, <laughs> moment. <laughs> well, I'm really glad he convinced you to come because we're all excited for the season. Where the fans, so many people were excited when you were announced as being the assistant coach. They were so happy uh, that you were coming to Halifax, and I really can't wait for the season to start. Um, so let's do this. Let's win the thing. <laughs> Come on, you Wanderers. Um, Alex, thank you so much for giving me so much time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, you for, for your invitation. And thank you. I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you at the Wanderers Ground. Uh, I'll buy you a beer. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Folks, please. Wait for me. Time to drink up, folks. Get out. Out to book.